My old event. Yes. The women's long jump. Are you excited about the long jump? Uh, no. That's I'm a no. not. When's the last time you've been excited about the long jump? It's really difficult for me to get excited. <laughs> so, no, I'm, I, I kind of like watching it and I like it when it's happening, but I'm not like, oh, I'm so excited about the long jump. No, I was more excited about the triple jump. Some of the same names, Malika Mahambo, um, she's topping the list at the moment, 709. I think it was her like opener, season opener. I couldn't believe it. I was like, yes, she looked so good. She said she'd been run working on her run up. And then she hasn't done anything since. She's been a bit disappointing. Like her run up looks a bit all over the place. So consistency hasn't been there. Still feel like she's going to win though. Reigning world champion and a reigning Olympic champion. I think she's going to find something because she's in shape and her speed is much better. However, I think it's a little bit inconsistent. She's not quite got it. So hopefully they've gone away. They've done some work. They got the run up down. Hopefully she's done a few downhill runs, gets the feet turning over, gets the consistency. So Valletta can't beat her. There's no can'ts in this game. What are you talking about? Oh, I'm just saying. <laughs> Of course. She's obviously the current world indoor champion. She won the world indoors. Malika didn't go to the world indoors. So Ivana on home soil won the world indoors. She jumped 706 indoors. Hasn't quite backed that up outdoors, but she's a championship performer. She knows how to do this. She's won gold medals in different championships, won medals here, there and everything. She's got silver medal at the Olympics. So there's a few names on here like Monet. Back Roman Chuck. Yeah, she's going to be doing the triple jump. She doubled up indoors in the long jump and the triple jump. She got medal in both. I think she got a silver medal in both. That's a lot because the world indoors is much tighter for qualifying and final for both. So I think she can obviously do it. I think the, the, the schedule allows. And she looks strong. Like physically, she looks really in shape. So Essie Broom. Now, she's one of my favorite silent assassin types as well. She doesn't speak. She's not bigging herself up here, there and everywhere on social media, this, that, this, that. She just goes and does what she needs to do. So I think she's a threat for sure. Katie Sangir, Sag we've been saying Katie Sagnia and I think I'm going to stay, but apparently it's Katie, what? Sanya. Sanya. That's how you pronounce it, but I'm going to still keep saying Sagnia. Yeah. You know me and my pronunciation. We could be right. We could be, but we did hear someone saying Sanya. She's always, she's always a threat. She jumped really well the other day, 695. So she's always a threat, but she's a bit inconsistent for me. I'm going to go with- about Lorraine? She jumped well at the British Champs, but she just drops her feet all the time. Her technique is just... To me, she's doing like two, trying to do a two and a half hitch kick. And I think it's a bit too much. And so she just doesn't quite get it round. And then she's just dropping her feet a lot. If she catches it, she can go. This girl can jump like 7.30 without a shadow of a doubt. She's just got it all to do it, but she, she just can't put it all together. And she keeps losing lots and lots of distance from technical errors. So I'm going to go with Mahambo, Valletta, Broom. Thank you.